done with sports talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, you know, the ultimate concussion, right? Deontay, the Browns Bob Wilder, former WBC champ, right? Ten title defenses, one of the hardest punches we ever had, pound for pound, ever, right? A lot of times people think of Deontay Wilder, they forget how, you know, light he is, right? About, you know, anywhere from 210, 215, you know. Only one fight ever, 230-something, it was all, you know, sluggish. But he's real light. So uh, when you're talking about anybody throughout history in terms of knocking people out, the ratio of how they've been knocked out, and the pounds that they were heavier than him, then I don't think it's even a debate. You know, I don't even know who, who would even come close. Maybe a Mike Tyson. Because only the heavyweights would come close because heavyweights, there's, you know, differences in, in, in weight. In other weight divisions, there's not so much difference in weight. You know, somebody could come uh, in on a night after rehydration and weigh 15 pounds heavier, like a Canelo versus Floyd or, or something like that. You know, when somebody goes up in weight fighting somebody and the other guy rehydrates higher, but most of the time, they're close. In heavyweights, is you know, you can be anywhere from 200. You know, and then you're just up there, you know. But anyway, the point is, uh, Deontay Wilder hasn't been able to get fights. Uh, that Anthony Joshua thing, hey, guys, you know, you can hate on Mr. Doma if you want to. But I was telling you that the, that fight's not happening. Because Deontay Wilder after Joshua would have happened a long time ago. Anybody got any footage of Anthony Joshua coming to a Deontay Wilder fight screaming his name or going to a press conference, pushing down the door, screaming his name or anything like other fighters that want fights do. Uh, you know, Deontay Wilder has been, uh, you know, banned from going to his fights and stuff like that. You know, the energy's not there, you know. And I just knew no matter what the scenario is, Anthony Joshua, just, it's not. And he just said recently, I've seen an article, he said, you know, his career won't be complete unless he fights Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, but there's nothing stopping it. And even right now, we know that they were supposed to fight in December. The Saudis were going to put the money up. And we also know that the new excuse is the Saudis' uh, skills challenge has been um, uh, dismantled. They're not there right now, and other ones have taken the place. But I'm pretty sure the money is there if, if, if Anthony Joshua wanted to fight. Uh, you hear Eddie Hearn, Joshua's promoter, doing more talk, talking about Deontay Wilder than than Anthony Joshua does. And like way more, you know, because Eddie Hearn just come out with something saying Anthony Joshua will beat Deontay Wilder and, and Tyson Fury. I know he doesn't really believe that, but, you know, but then again, he could. He could believe that. I, I just don't think he does because it's not hard to fight Deontay Wilder. It never was hard for Anthony Joshua to fight Deontay Wilder, like ever, right? And people would say, well, Deontay Wilder hasn't been calling him out either lately because he, he told you, I'm not doing that no more. It's a waste of my time. I've did everything possible to try to fight Anthony Joshua. Like Demetrius Andrade has done trying to fight Canelo. All he has for Canelo now is F Canelo because if you go, you can go find it. You can just go Google it or YouTube it. Demetrius Andrade doing everything to fight Canelo. Same thing with uh, Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. Anybody with their in the right mind knows who would rather fight between those two. So, you know, that's not going to happen. So Deontay Wilder doesn't have that fight. The next fight that he would take would be the Alexander Uzik fight because it's also high profile and it's also three belts on the line, right? But uh, Alexander Uzik is going to probably fight Tyson Fury now, which I know it's signed, but <clears throat> Tyson Fury's involved. Let's see how that fight goes when you get closer, right? Because Tyson Fury is not too enthused by fighting uh, Uzik. Tyson Fury is going to fight Ngano, the MMA guy, and he's already talking about WWE stints and stuff like that. So, you know, Tyson Fury, and like when it comes to Tyson Fury, I don't want to talk about it because anything with him is just like, you know, would you do anything under oath? You know, it reminds me of some Republicans out there right now, you know. Anything. Do anything under oath. As soon as oath comes in the situation, then we just plead the fifth. You know what I'm saying? And it just, you know, so whatever, with Tyson Fury. But one thing about Tyson Fury is he is 6'9", 270 with skills. So it's an issue. And not just now, throughout history. Tyson Fury is an issue, 6'9", 270. But I would like, uh, you know, when it comes to Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, I have my issues, right? 
I've seen things, and I'm not going to let nobody tell me that I didn't see things. But let's keep it moving. Deontay Wilder versus, uh, you know, uh, Anthony Joshua probably not happening. Now, you have another guy that ain't nobody in a rush to fight, and that's Sheila Shane. Now, Sheila Shane, right, you know, I've seen him in one tough fight with Forrest, a guy named Forrest, uh, you know. But other than that, his dismantling of Joe Joyce has put fear in others, uh, you know, in the other heavyweights, pretty sure. Or you don't want to use fear, but you want to use, you know, they definitely aware. And people that got stuff to lose will be looking for easier routes to money and easier routes to belts than dealing with Sheila Shang. Now, Sheila Shang is 40 years old, but his dismantling of Joe Joyce uh, in two separate fights is something to behold because let's just rewind. People do do stuff in retrospect. Oh, Joe Joyce wasn't this. Joe Joyce wasn't that. Joe Joyce before she lied Shane was somebody that Anthony Joshua wasn't gonna fight, and you probably didn't, nobody would want Anthony Joshua to fight him because you would think Joe Joyce by late stoppage. Joshua would probably get you know beat him early in the fight, but Joe Joyce's chin ain't going nowhere, and then all of a sudden he's gonna start touching Joshua and then win the fight. That's probably what anybody would think before the she lied Shane. Joe Joyce was some, something to behold because of his punch resistance and his motor, right? We, those are things that we know Joe Joyce is all that, right? But Sheila Shane was able to get him twice, right? David priced him. I told you that's what he did. He did the same thing Tony Thompson did to David Price. Right before a title shot or right before a big significant fight, you fight somebody you think you're going to get past, an older dude, Matter of fact, an older Southpaw dude, you just think, I'm going to get this one real quick. You know, I'm going to take a pretty hard fight, but not super hard. And then you go ahead, boom, get clipped. And they think, well, you know something? That was luck. And come back and get beat again. You know, it is what it is. And uh, she like Shane, I'm pretty sure people have watched, and you're seeing the skill there. Yeah, that was not luck with she like Shane. He has what it takes. He has a good repertoire. He looks real good. Um... I forgot what punch it was. Was it the, the right hook? I think, but straight left hand obviously against Joe Joyce. But it was also that right hook, right? Going to the body. <coughs> she likes Shane is an issue, right? So you don't you ain't hear nobody. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Still, you know, still y'all know what time it is. I'm still not doing well. But um, she likes Shane is uh, he's all that. You know, it's a, it's gonna be a, a, a gonna take an effort to get rid of the guy. So I didn't expect anybody to be calling Sheila Shang out. You know, Sheila Shang won Tyson Fury, actually. So I, I don't see, you know, a lot of stuff not happen. Some shenanigans, you know. But, um, uh, you know, rumor has it that Deontay Wilder versus Sheila Shang could be in the works. Now, obviously, you know, Deontay Wilder is going to take the fight, right? Me, as a Deontay Wilder fan... And, you know, somebody who really watched his career and really appreciated what I saw. I saw, I don't know what y'all did. I saw that. And, uh, you know, I, I would be leery of him taking that fight as well. It's, you know, because I've been leery about a lot of fights. You know, because people with punch resistance and big old guys, because they're real big. You know, she like, do you know she like Shane? It was about 280 something in that fight. Deontay Wilder's 210, 215. You know, it's just, I'm way bigger. But I can remember how I felt when he fought uh, your boy Dominique Brazil. I was like, man, he got some punch resistance. It took Anthony Joshua to hit him a whole lot of times to make them stop that fight. And he got some punch resistance. And Deontay Wilder was able to give him that one punch, you know, you know, that slammer, and got him up out of there and laid him flatlined him, you know. So Deontay Wilder has that, that punch of power that's just ridiculous. So uh, a Deontay Wilder versus Sheila Shang fight would be very, very interesting. I mean, extremely interesting. But it's not only about the interest. It's about Sheila Shang's people say he wants to fight. Deontay Wilder's people say he wants to fight. And, you know, th that's the kind of thing that has to happen. You know what I mean? Because the ones that are around, that's, you know, that don't have to take it, they ain't saying nothing. You know what I mean? You know, just like Demetrius Andre versus uh, your boy David Benavides. Canelo ain't saying nothing. You know what I mean? Just, okay, let them fight, you know, then it's cool. That's how this is the same kind of thing. Sheila Shane versus Deontay Wilder. You know, ain't nobody else trying to fight these dudes. So you might as well fight each other. That's what this is all about. 
But guys and girls, you know, that's a pretty goddamn uh, good fight. Excuse me, Miss French. It's a pretty good fight. And uh, let's see what happens if that fight goes down, right? Um, I just think that Deontay Wilder shows his courage again, wanting to take the tough fights. And Sheila Shang is just over there, supremely confident, waiting to take people take people off the top until he makes it to where he's trying to go. And, uh, you know, to go fight Joe Joyce and, you know, I take a rematch clause and go do it again, you know, that's some, he's, you know, his inner Devin Haney. He's like, well, whatever it takes, I'm going to go over there twice and beat, beat him up twice. And that's what he did. And when you do things like that, your confidence goes up, especially how he did it. So a little old skinny Deontay Wilder ain't scaring no Sheila Shang. You see what I'm saying? No matter who he done knocked the hell out. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? So uh, that's going to be a real, real good fight. Hats off to both of these guys for taking it. You know what I mean? Let's see what happens. Doma Sports Talk, worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.